Słuchajcie, jest godzina 17.25, Brawl Talk już jest, można włączyć napisy, już na żywo się odbył, ja go oglądam nie na żywo, ale no praktycznie od razu po jego końcu, więc zaczynamy bez przedłużania. Trzech nowych zadymiarzy? Ok, mamy Miko, mamy jakiegoś kota i coś jakieś strzelające. Ty, co to jest? Brawl Day Skins, Cartoon Skins, and the Free Skin. More free oh. stuff. 5 vs 5. The new monthly pass. A free pin and more. So give it a like and hit the subscribe button and let's go! Trzech nowych zadymiarzy. Wow. Quick, Danny! I found Kit. Let's go! There! Marcio, watch out! Ouch! That's it! We got him! Danny? What is it? Danny! What? <laughs> Welcome to Brawl Talk! <laughs> We have three months full of content for you, so let's start with December. Happy Brawly Days! And happy Brawlyversary! We will turn five years old in just a couple of days. Talking about Brawly Days, Miko, the first of our three new Brawlers will be released on December 14 for free as part of our Brawly Days calendar. He's completing the Brawlywood trio together with Lola and Grey. He thinks he's the biggest director slash actor in the movie industry, but he's actually operating the boom mic in Brawlywood's production. Miko is the first brawler that jumps with his main attack. He can't be attacked while in midair, and he deals damage where he lands. He can jump over walls, holes, and even projectiles, but he doesn't have a lot of hit points, and his reload speed is quite slow. With his super, he jumps into the air, and you can control where he lands. The target location is also shown to opponents. Miko will receive three skins in this update. Macaron Miko, where he becomes a bit more sophisticated. And Grouch Miko, an evil monkey creature who wants to destroy the magical spirit of the Brawly Days. And another one in February, but more about that later. Brawly Day skins will return, and older Dark Winter Tail skins will be available with a discount this season. We will introduce a new Brawly Day skin. Santa Stu is making sure gifts are delivered quickly, but is not giving any guarantees that they will arrive intact. But one gift for sure it will be arrived safely is Dark Angel Code, the latest Supercell Make skin. The concept was done by Dotty, Angelo and Cat Cat Poe. It will be available for free for everyone in the Brawly Days calendar and it will arrive on December 24th. Talking about our traditional Brawly Days calendar, it will arrive in a prettier package this year. And like the previous years, they will all be available daily in the shop. Miko and Dark Angel Colt are both part of the calendar which will start on the day of our update. Hopefully, December 12th. And the calendar ends on December 26th. Make sure to collect all the items before the end of the year. The Hypercharge Unleash event is back in December with six new Hypercharge Brawlers, including Miko. Complete the quest of the event and you'll get a free random Ooh. hypercharge. The brawlers receiving hypercharge this update are Leon, he will stay invisible even if he attacks during his hypercharge super. Fang, his hypercharge super can go through walls and he leaves popcorn in his wake. Edgar, his reload speed and supercharge increase during his hypercharge. Dynamite, after his super explodes, a lot of other dynamites explode around it. Crow, all his knives become piercing and they return to him afterward. And Miko, once he lands with his super, he stuns brawlers around him. Still in December, we will introduce the long-awaited 5 vs 5 game modes. All of them have bigger map sizes and will be run as events during weekends throughout this update cycle. We will start with 5v5 Brawl Ball, Wipeout and Gen Grab. 5v5 Brawl Ball is played sideways and the goal is quite a bit bigger. You might think it will be easier to score, but there are a lot more defenders to stop you. 5v5 Wipeout plays very much the same. The chances are bigger maps and a higher number of takedowns to win. And 5v5 Gen Grab now will have some maps with two gem spawn points. Which one would you like to play first? Let us know in the comments. Now, moving on to January. Our legendary arrived a bit late, but it was worth the wait. It's Kit the Cat Brawler. He's per. Słuchajcie, sorry, siostra mi weszła, musiałem przerwać. 
Ale jesteśmy w tym samym momencie, więc dobra. For Miao Park area called Star Toon Studios, and he has played multiple cat roles in every type of cartoon. This has made him become super famous, but he doesn't feel complete by being only a cartoon cat, which is what he actually is. Kit uses his claws for his main attack and has a short range, but it's really quick. With his super, he can jump on either allies or opponents. If he jumps on an ally, he heals them and himself, and his main attack changes and he then becomes a thrower. If he dashes onto an enemy, he then scratches the enemy for some time. When Kit is attached to somebody, he becomes invulnerable, and you either have to take down the host or wait for him to jump off. He supercharged automatically. Kit will receive a 29 gem skin, which is inspired by community fan art. It's called Billy the Kit. He also receives another skin in February, but we'll talk about that one later as well. Kit is the first legendary support brawler and it will be available in a special early access offer one week prior to the start of the Star Toon season. He'll then get his regular release once the new Star Toon season starts on January 4th. Just before we go through the new monthly Brawl Pass, let's talk about the Star Toon skins. Each one of the skins will be inspired by a different cartoon style and looks completely different from all our other skins. We'll have Pinku Paulette, inspired by the Japanese anime style, and she's the waitress in a local bubble tea shop. This is also the Brawl Pass skin at the end of the pass. There are two color variations of the skin from the Brawl Pass Plus. It's Midori Paulette and Kiro Paulette. We'll talk about the Brawl Pass Plus later. Final Boss Rico is going to be the Power League skin and he has a cell shading effect. He's inspired by old cartoons from the 40s. And Toon Spike, he's a 2D character in a 3D world. Oh, he's inspired so by cool. more modern Spike. cartoons and looks really unique in game. Toon Spike will cost 299 gems and comes with... Nie gadajcie, że ten Spike będzie kosztować 300 gemów. W sensie mega jest. <coughs> ten Spike jest mega, ale ja bym za niego nie dał 300 gemów, tylko 149, ok? Bo jest naprawdę mega fajny, zarąbisty jest, ale 300? Nieźle. With the complete legendary skin package, including a super cool takedown animation and a set of adorable pins. In January, the first monthly Brawl Pass starts and we will also introduce the Brawl Pass Plus. We have already announced all the changes with the pass in a previous communication, but here's a quick summary of it. It's only available as an in-app purchase. This means you can't buy it for gems anymore. What? But this won't be a nerf to the free-to-play progression, because we are buffing the pass progression enough so it will give you around the same as if you were using your gems to buy a pass every other month. The pay track has also been buffed by a lot, so you'll get even more value for your purchase. For now, every pass includes a skin at the last tier. And the Brawl Pass is now monthly, so things should never feel stale. The reward at the end of the Brawl Pass got changed to Star Drops, and the cost has been adjusted. Brawl Passes won't have a Brawler, but you'll be able to unlock any Brawler up to Epic Rarity or receive a lot of credits instead. The skin in the pass stays. Tokens become XP. This is more of a visual and name change. The pass also come with some additional benefits, like getting more daily XP and quests. If you purchase the Brawl Pass, you can upgrade it to the Brawl Pass Plus, and you will receive the following. More progression. Two color variations of the Brawl Pass skin of the season. A unique player title. And a lot more value. Also, remember that now you can use your gems on something else, like mythic skins, progression, or anything that gems allow you to purchase. It's also important to point out that you can now receive and store skins from brawlers you don't own. These can be accessed from the catalog. The first monthly Brawl Pass season starts on January 4th, right after the end of the Bizarre Circle season. You have probably noticed how unsafe Star Park was, right? But fear no more, Larry and Lori are coming to protect you. They are the law in Star Park, and they have the classic good bot, bad bot dynamic. They are joining Artie's trio, and they help him on keeping the order at Star Park. Larry, the good bot, throws tickets that cause damage in an area and explode twice. As for his super, Larry calls for help from his big brother, Laurie, and throws him into the arena. Laurie then follows the closest target and shoots at them with a pacifier. Larry and Laurie get a 29 gem skin called the Controllers. And if you got this pun, you should be very proud of yourself. They will have their early release one week before the Dragon Pit season starts in February. For our second monthly Brawl Pass of the year, the team is centered around the Lunar New Year event. The season is called Dragon Pit. And Miko gets a legendary skin called Wukong Miko. He becomes the most powerful and coolest monkey king. 
Kid Foxer is going to be the skin of the Dragon Pit season. If you purchase the Brawl Pass Plus, then you also receive the color variation Kid Boxer Gold Paw and Kid Boxer Dark Paw. 8-bit virus will receive the 299 gem treatment with a special custom VFX and other cosmetics. But he will also receive a new color variation called Antivirus 8-bit. There will also be another recolor skin. Ferocious Fang is a variation of Furious Fang. And we'll be getting a lot more skins that are not part of either of the seasons. We notice, or W notice, to celebrate Zeta Division being the 2023 Brawl Stars World Champion. Congratulations! Flag Bearer Piper, a carnival skin as a tribute to our Brazilian community. Aqui é Brasil, p. Doll Jesse, a cute 29 gem skin for Brawl and Times. L Quarterback, for our American football fans. Or just football if you are American. CCTV Poco, one of the first skins featuring the origin of our brawlers. Whoa. And Red and Blue King Frank. Doll Jesse, a cute 29 no, gem skin for Brawl and Times. L Quarterback, for our American football fans. Or just football if you are American. CCTV Poco, one of the first skins featuring the origin of our brawlers. And Red and Blue King Frank, will be a special offer only available in our Supercell store. But we don't have a release date yet, and it's possible that it might not be released during this update. The concept of this king was made by the Korean fan artist Getty Corp a long time ago. Win streaks. Now, if you're in the zone, you'll be rewarded for that. New mythic gear for Mortis. Shelly model revamp. Trophy Road is getting some star drops, but don't worry, very little will change. Replays can finally be shared in your club. And use hashtag SantaStew to participate in the content creator's giveaways and have the chance to get this king for free. Okej. Okay. <coughs> A więc dwóch mitycznych i jeden jeden e, zadmiarz legendarny. Miko za darmo. E, nie pamiętam jak się nazywa, ale był ten drugi, ale był dosyć fajny. E, ten mityczny w sensie. No i kit, kit, który miał e, wyjść już, słuchajcie, kilka lat temu. Ale z innego kraju coś ludzie skakowali Brawl Talka, udostępnili go i twórcy na szybko zmienili go na Rafsa. Miał być totalnie inny sezon, totalnie inny zadymiarz. No ale nareszcie kit wszedł. No i ja się cieszę z tego powodu. Słuchajcie, nie będę miał kita ani tego drugiego mityka pewnie szybko, ale chcę kupić sobie Carnet Plus. Od razu pierwszy. Chcę zobaczyć jak to będzie wyglądać. Jeżeli będzie jakiś Yy, fajny kolejny karnet albo yy, po prostu będzie to fajne to może kupię kiedyś jeszcze jeden nie wiadomo e, no na pewno kupuję pierwszy to mogę wam zagwarantować yy, no i słuchajcie tyle naprawdę fajnie słuchajcie kurczę skin do spajka dowalony ja dalej tylko o nim myślę jest drogi ale tak jak się zastanowić to jest naprawdę dowalony mega mi siedzi więc w sumie, no kto kupi tego mu po prostu mega zazdroszczę, bo jest super po prostu. Jeszcze ma podobno być ten legendarny Domiko, nie? Tam mówili, że to będzie legendarny skin, tak mi się wydaje. Więc no, naprawdę grubo. I no, nowa legenda. Nowa legenda nie jest tak szczerze mocna, jest, będzie chyba najsłabszą legendą, bo jest na blisko i nie zadaje dużych obrażeń jakichś. No nie wiem, może ją jakoś wzmocnią, albo będzie miała star power, że jej się ten atak wydłuża. Nie wiem, pożyjemy, zobaczymy. Ja ocenię tą aktualizację na 10 na 10. Naprawdę mocna i kurczę, fajne, fajne. Trzymajcie się, cześć.